The Prime Minister today pretty much endorsed Susan Hall's membership of some Islamic Facebook groups. At last week's PMQs, it was highlighted that the Conservatives' London Mayor candidate Susan Hall had been sharing some Islamic, racist and divisive comments on social media. And are they really actually standing behind her? And poor old pathetic Oliver Dowden didn't really know how to answer. Over the weekend, it emerged that she's now part of some Facebook groups that are looking to cause some serious harm to the current London Mayor. And again today, it was highlighted twice in PMQs, and to which the Prime Minister's response was, well, it's quite shocking really. He didn't just try to dodge the question, he actually seemed to endorse it. So I've put them all together for you to have a look. Watch out for Oliver Dowden's response, but more importantly, listen to what the actual Prime Minister says when it's pointed out what these Facebook groups are all about. Sarah Jones. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, the Conservative candidate for London Mayor has promoted Islamophobic tropes yeah. online, Shame. Shame on Shame. endorsed yes. the beliefs of yeah. Enoch Powell, wow. and claimed the black community has a problem with crime. Yeah. <laughs> In the week that we marked the 31st anniversary of the murder of Stephen Lawrence, mm. Does the Deputy Prime Minister really endorse these views? Yeah. Yeah. Deputy Prime Minister. Well, I think the Honourable Lady knows that she does not correctly represent the views of the candidate. And I find, I find it extraordinary that, that I find it extraordinary that she raises the issue of crime because whilst Labour's London Mayor has increased the precept by over 70%. Actually, recorded crime has increased 20% in London. That is the record of the Labour London Mayor, and no wonder people will be voting against him. Dawn Butler. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Mr Deputy Speaker, I seek your advice on how we in this House can ensure that the National Security Online Information Team investigates the Facebook groups that Greenpeace exposed at the weekend, oh, where, the, yeah. where the Tory mayoral candidate, Susan Hall, is a member of, where they have put on this group uh, that they plan to kill our current mayor, Sadiq Khan. Mm. Mr Deputy Speaker, how can we ensure we have the government investigates this, please? Um, well, I'm sure that the. Uh, what well, can I thank the honourable member for her point of order and her forward notice of it? And I'm sure that she herself could make contact with uh, any organisations which can investigate uh, the serious allegations that she has just made. Thank you, thank you for all that. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Greenpeace group Unearthed found 36 supposed grassroots <coughs> campaign groups which were actually administered by Conservative staff and activists oh. and were forums for vile racism, anti Semitism, and Islamophobic attacks on Sadiq Khan. Yeah. Now, while he has well, other such coordinated time. efforts around anti 20 mile per hour zones in Wales, can the Prime Minister shed some light on these shady groups spreading abuse, their funding? their links to his party, and whether he is aware of similar operations uh, existing elsewhere in the UK. If he won't, will he at least commit today to investigate and take action to tackle the sources of this grubby gutter politics? Yeah. 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 Mr. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm not aware about, about the topic that the Honourable Lady raises, but, I, but, but I'm not going to make any apology for Conservatives pointing out the record of whether it's the SNP in Scotland or the Labour government in Wales, because that's exactly what democratic process is about. She might not like it when we highlight their record, but we will keep doing so that we can deliver for people across the United Kingdom. Mr Speaker, it's been revealed by the Observer newspaper that the Conservative candidate for the Mayor of London is actually a member of the six Facebook groups which was mentioned by the member for Edinburgh North. And they are full of Islamophobia, anti-Semitism and the most disgraceful incitement to damaging property. And the worst bit, for those of us who were in the House when our members of Parliament were taken, death threats to the current Mayor of London, Mr Khan. Will he close down these Facebooks, which have been begun by Conservative members of staff, begun by Conservative members of staff, and will he investigate the role of the current candidate and her membership of those disgraceful, racist Facebooks? Well, 
Mr Speaker, the election tomorrow will be fought on the substance of the issues yeah. that Londoners face, and the Labour record is crystal clear. House building in London has collapsed. Knife crime is rising. Mayoral taxes are up 70 per cent, and drivers have been hit with ULES charges. And the Labour mayor just simply panders to unions and has decimated London's nighttime economy. That's his record. That's how he'll be judged. And people across London know that they will be safer with the Conservatives with lower taxes and better services. It doesn't seem like the Conservatives are really that interested in challenging for the London mayor. I mean, why on earth would they pick and stand behind Susan Hall? And if for somehow you don't actually think she's that bad, then you need to watch the video that's on screen now because that will certainly change your mind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you next time.